There's been a lot of back and forth between the original and new cast of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, but it got even more interesting recently and Walker Scoble's reaction to Logan Lerman says it all. As soon as fans knew that Percy Jackson and the Olympians show was in the works, they tried initiating the casting process. They were very vocal about how Logan Lerman should be the cast for Poseidon. According to these fans, Logan was sadly the right Percy Jackson at the wrong time in the movies. So many of the franchise franchise lovers wanted Logan to get a new chance to play Poseidon since he's now far older than the young character he played in the past. Also, Logan's picture with curlier hair made them all continue to cast the actor as Poseidon because he still closely resembles Percy. Interestingly, Logan appeared to be on board and was excited for what was to come when he said, So, they announced the development of this show. I wonder when they will be ready to make it. They've got to approve scripts, budget it, and cast it. I'm curious if there would be a role that would be interesting for me or something like that. I definitely can consider it. After this, fans believed that there was no way Logan wouldn't get cast. Surprisingly, the Percy Jackson series isn't like other shows where fan castings work. And the show's creator, Rick Reardon, came out immediately to shut down the suggestions of having Logan return to the franchise. The author took to his blog to say that Logan wouldn't be joining the show and added some viable reasons why. Rick said he's been very open with his thoughts on the movies and how disappointed he was about them. However, Rick mentioned that the actors from the film are great and talented because he's been privileged to see them in other productions, but that's all there is to his feelings about the original cast. So he said, the whole point of me being involved in the TV show is to make sure this is a completely different production and a fresh start for Percy Jackson. That means an entirely new cast, putting their own spin on the characters, and it's important for the cast and crew that they have a clean slate to work from. And he mentioned that he wants no crossover between the movies and the series, no matter what the fans think. Following this statement, Logan also had to clear the speculations by confirming that he wouldn't feature in the project. Logan said no one messaged him to be a part of the show, and he also didn't think the role would be exciting and fitting for him. Although he didn't want to disappoint the fans, he had to come out to tell them there was no role for him in the show. He also said he's not the perfect match for Poseidon, as he's still much younger than the character, saying, am I old enough to play Poseidon? I don't think I'm old enough for that one. I wouldn't cast me in that role if I was part of the creative team. Then Disney Plus finally announced the new cast. Walker Scobell, Arian Simhadri, and Leah Jeffries to play the lead roles of Percy, Grover, and Annabeth. The role of Poseidon also went to Toby Stevens, and every one of the cast and supporting cast has no affiliations with the movies, just like Rick promised. However, the fans who couldn't get their casting choice of Logan as Poseidon approved turned to start attacking the show's new cast. Sadly, Leah was the most affected by the backlash, as many racist comments were made as to why a white girl wasn't cast instead. They were all over Leah's social media page with hurtful comments that were way over the top. One of the fans said, making an explicitly white character black feels like Reardon's forcing and trying too hard in the wrong places. Seeing how disappointing the fans were you going about the casting news, Rick had to defend Leah and justify how she's exactly like Annabeth. Even Leah spoke up when people started comparing her with the original actress Alexandra Daddario by saying she would never be able to portray Annabeth as she did. The young actress said the toxic fans were right because she would create her own version of Annabeth. Much to the horror of the fans, the former actress Alexandra supported Leah's casting on her Twitter page. Meanwhile, amid this toxic drama, Logan was positively rooting for the show and excited to see it happen. Logan said, Everything I've seen so far, peripherally, just about casting and how they're doing it, and that Rick Reardon is running it, just makes me happy. It makes me happy for the fans and excited for this new generation to watch it. Seeing how some fans can be very passionate and aggressive, Walker Scoble, who plays Percy, was nervous and hesitant about his role. Even even though he was familiar with the books and had watched all the movies, Walker was afraid that he might disappoint the large fan base. With that fear in his heart, Walker tried to be close to Logan and even get a supportive message from him. So he saw one of Logan's films, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and tried to use that as a ground to start a conversation with Logan, but it didn't work. The young actor sent Logan a private message on Instagram to tell him the film and his performance were excellent, but got no reply. Walker said he wanted Logan to contact him directly. I'd like to hear some advice from Logan Lerman. I really liked his Percy Jackson. All also, he added that he would love to meet Logan and probably get specific instructions from him on how he portrayed Percy. Walker believes that Logan did pretty well with Percy in the movies, and he was able to take away a lot from his actions than in the film itself, so he was very impressed with how Logan transformed the character from the books to the screen. And even though he didn't try to copy or take tips from Logan's Percy Jackson, Walker mentioned that he was very inspired by it and wouldn't mind getting some motivation directly from the original cast. For a while after the casting news was announced, Logan didn't 
send any message or support to Walker until he was asked if he had any advice for the new cast. And he mentioned that his only advice to Walker was to enjoy the filming process while he's at it. Logan also spoke of his experience from filming Percy Jackson when he was younger by saying that it's possible to forget to have fun while working. Because he could enjoy the filming process, he felt good about it later on, which is what matters the most. The actor also mentioned that he would feel a bit stupid to advise Walker on playing his role because he believes that he got the job for a reason and is talented enough to do great. However, this advice wasn't enough for Walker, despite it being evident that Logan was trying hard not to influence Walker's Percy Jackson. Walker was looking forward to a congratulatory and supportive message since he's a fan of Logan's Percy. He waited so long for that and he finally got it as soon as the show premiered. When the cast and author were making press rounds, Logan sent a heartfelt message congratulating them all. The message reads, the show looks amazing and I can't wait to see you all crush it in your roles. You're making a lot of people happy bringing these characters to life. Then Walker finally got a direct congratulations from Logan who said he couldn't think of anyone else who could fit and nail the role like Walker. But the great news is that Logan doesn't just know Walker for Percy Jackson. He has also seen the young actor in the Adam project and was very impressed with his talents. Logan didn't stop praising Walker as he also predicted that he would be playing the role for a long time because the few episodes he had seen already showed that it's going to be a hit. He even asked Walker to get ready to eat the blue food for the next few years because it would be a long and enjoyable ride. While the host was reading the message, Walker looked happy to finally get a personal message from Logan. Walker then reacted to the message by saying, it does feel good a little bit. Then he also said that he's yet to meet the actor and believes they could get to see each other soon and probably develop a friendship. But the good thing is Walker now feels more encouraged by this support and ready to do more of Percy Jackson when it comes to that. Interestingly, on another occasion when Logan was in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he also praised Walker's appearance and how he's a perfect representation of the character. The actor said that Walker looks so innocent, spirited, and defiant, which is exactly what every fan of Percy Jackson wants to see in the character. And Walker reacted by saying that he feels very proud to be taking on the position from Logan. He added, it's always big shoes to fill, but I'm very honored that I get this opportunity. I know Logan Logan did such a great job as Percy Jackson the first time around. I hope to do that role justice. Logan also mentioned that as a grown-up actor, he's been able to learn and relearn from his experiences in life. And he added that his wish is for the series to give fans everything the movies couldn't deliver. By saying this, Logan admits that Walker is the worthy and best successor who could fulfill what his own Percy Jackson couldn't. And that makes Walker even more motivated than he ever had since he got cast for the series. What are your thoughts on Walker Scoble's happy reaction to Logan Lerman's support?